In this video, I will give you a quick tour of the new campus building for the Aalto University School of Business. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel we talk about education and early career development specifically here in Finland. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing. Before we jump into today's topic, let me thank Aalto University for also sponsoring this video. I've done both my bachelor's and soon-to-be master's degrees at Aalto, and I really recommend that you guys consider applying there in the next application period. More information about studying at Aalto in the description box below. Hey guys, it's Oliver here from the editing desk. Just noticed that I want to mention two things before we actually get into the video. First of all, all the footage in this video was filmed before the current COVID-19 crisis. You actually don't even have access to any of the campus buildings at this moment because all Finnish universities are in lockdown until further notice. Secondly, uh, you're gonna notice that the campus is quite empty. This is because I actually filmed all the footage on a late Sunday afternoon. So that should explain why there's not that many people there. Anyways, can't wait to get back into the normal student life, into the campus, but let's get back to the video. So today we're taking a tour of the building for the Aalto University School of Business. This new campus building was finished early 2019 and it occupies the right half of this massive building complex right here. The left side of which belongs to the School of Arts, Design and Architecture, which I will cover in a separate video in the future. Before we jump inside the school itself, let's first shortly talk about how to commute to the campus. So basically, when you're commuting to Otaniemi, you can either take a bus or a metro, which basically stops underneath the campus. So the closest metro station to the, the School of Business is actually basically there, and the School of Business is there. So it's actually one of the closest buildings to the metro station. So when you actually step out of the metro station, you basically have to walk maybe 100 meters or so down the street and you come to the School of Business campus building and pretty much to the dead center of the campus itself. Fun fact, Otaniemi is currently a bit of a mess. The city is building a new tram line that is going to come through Otaniemi. It will make commuting to Otaniemi even more convenient. So at that time you will have the option of taking the bus, the metro, or a tram. Once you come down to the corner of the building, take a hard right and you will come to the main entrance. The doors to the School of Business are usually open during normal office hours, but as a student, you can also get access to the campus 24 seven around the year. So the way to access most of the buildings that are open 24 seven to students at other university has actually been set up in quite a neat way. So basically what you need is your public transportation card, which looks something like this, that you then register to the school so that you can access most of the spaces 24 seven just by using this card. Once you have your card registered, you can basically just find the correct reader and tap it there and you get access to the building. So that's pretty neat. When you get inside to the ground level, the first thing you most likely will notice is the modern and open architecture that is dominated by wood and stone. The nice thing about this building is that it is mostly open space with huge windows, both in the ceiling and on the walls, that bring in a lot of daylight. This, together with the light surfaces, create a really relaxing atmosphere, and I think it is generally just a nice space to spend time in. The ground floor is mostly occupied by this large and open lounge area that people usually hang out in between classes. It is filled with comfy sofas and chairs where you can either work or just chill with your classmates. In addition to the chairs and the small cafeteria, the lounge area is surrounded by five around medium-sized classrooms that I'm sure that you guys will spend a lot of time in during your studies. So while the majority of the space in the first floor is reserved for teaching, the second floor has more spaces for individual and group work. When you get up the first flight of stairs, you come to this open co-working area that is mostly occupied by a number of tables. 
Along these walls, you can find multiple meeting rooms that can be accessed and utilized by students. These meeting rooms are great if you want to, for example, have a group work meeting in a more private space. While the open spaces in the second floor are nice, they're not really optimal for work that requires quiet and focus. Rather, at the end of the corridor, you have two separate spaces specifically for this purpose. The first one here on the right is a quiet space that is isolated from the other spaces with noise cancelling walls. It is a great space, for example, to study for exams or when you simply don't want to be disturbed. The second and the larger of these two areas at the end is a group workspace that is great for both group work and individual studying. As you can guess, these spaces are pretty popular and in heavy use, so make sure you'll be there early if you want to reserve a spot for yourself. The third and fourth floors are basically identical to the second floor, with just a couple of ex exceptions. The first being that the third and fourth floors have groups of lockers that you can use to keep your stuff safe during the day. The second difference is, is that the spaces at the end of the corridors are staff offices with no access to students. So while these spaces are in general awesome and super nice to hang out in, there's always something to complain about. But basically the only gripe I have about this new campus building is the lack of a proper computer class. For master's students like me who mostly come to the campus to work on their thesis, this is a bit of a letdown as you know we'd prefer a simple and quiet space with extra displays where you can simply plug your laptop in zone out and just focus on the writing for like eight hours straight. Sure, there are a ton of spaces like this around the campus, but it would have been awesome to have a space like this built into the new premises. But you know, as they say, you can't win them all. In terms of food, business students have multiple options. First of all, if you want something simple, you can get some snacks and coffee from the small cafeteria in the ground floor. The cafeteria also serves breakfast between 8.30 and 10. That's a nice option if you don't want to make something for yourself at home. When it's time to eat lunch, you actually have a myriad of options as Otaniemi campus is full of student restaurants that serve student-priced meals each day. But as a business student, the closest option is actually restaurant Kipsari, which is located in the ground level in between the School of Business and the School of Arts, Design and Architecture. You can access the restaurant through a single set of doors from the ground level. In addition to Kipsari, there are multiple student restaurants less than a minute's walk away, the closest of which are located in the computer science building here, in the building next to it here, in the undergraduate center here, and in the School of Arts, Design and Architecture, which is on the other side of the building complex here. Also, if you want to eat something a bit more fancy or perhaps have a glass of wine in between your classes, there is also restaurant Arvo, which is located on the ground floor just to the right of the main entrance to the School of Business. In addition to the new campus building, some of your business classes might be taught in other buildings around the campus as well. In my personal experience, these classes will be held mostly in the undergraduate center, which is this building right here. Most of the classes will be located in the U-wing of the undergraduate center, which is located just a bit down the street right here. This building has multiple large auditoriums where many bachelor level first year lectures take place. The Graduate Center is literally located just across the street from the business school, so jumping from class to class between these buildings is going to be super convenient for you. So that is a quick and simple tour of the Aldo School of Business. Naturally, there's so much more to see. And for example, I did not film all the co-working spaces because they were reserved when I last visited the campus. So I guess we have to leave something for you to explore on your own. If you are interested in seeing more of the other campus, I'm actually currently working on a series of video tours covering the rest of the campus. So do make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss them when I get them online. All right, that is everything for me this time. If you like what I'm doing here on YouTube, do give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend who might be interested in the topic. Also, if you have anything to ask about this or any other topic related to studying or building your early career here in Finland, write them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.